Hello, everyone. My name is Maria Jose Pernas. My name is Maureen Greer Udugu. And today we're going to be presenting our project for the Go Global SDGs in Action Student Challenge, um, which is exploring possible sustainable practices at your university's dining facilities to reduce end of life food waste while fighting food insecurity on campus. Before we start, we would like to thank our mentors and program director and coordinators for their help. So our um, SDG goal is SDG goal number 12, which is to ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. And we're gonna be focusing specifically in target 12.3, which addresses um, global food waste and target 12.5, which aims to reduce waste generation through prevention, reduction, recycling, and reuse. So why are we conducting this research? Um, food waste management and campus piqued our interest due solely on personal observations at York University's dining facilities. We were asking ourselves questions like, is there any leftover food at the end of each day? And what happens to this food? Um, however, quantifying food waste at an institution like York University is very challenging. Um, it would require a complex and structured data collection process which is why we decided to conduct a literature review to determine if York University has any food waste reduction initiatives put in place and to determine whether there are any other initiatives across other institutions that can be modeled at York University. So what is food waste? Um, food waste is the discarded food and downstream um, at the downstream stages of the supply chain in distribution, retail, food services, and households. Um, and why is this important? Um, food and agricultural waste and losses have been identified as contributing factors to greenhouse gas emissions, natural resource consumption, and land use change. So um, the assessment of food waste reduction strategies from the University of Michigan aims to identify and evaluate different types of food waste interventions and solutions across the value change, specifically within a university context. And so one of the, the end of life food interventions is food rescue or donation, which is in line with the United States Environmental Protection Agency's recommendations. And so we decided to see if York University has any interventions for end of life food waste. And although they do have other waste management initiatives, such as the zero waste program um, and organic food waste management and recycling initiatives, they do not have any initiatives put in place right now for surplus food management at dining facilities. So we wondered what are other institutions doing? We looked at the University of Toronto food waste management and sustainability initiatives. One significant initiative was the partnership between the food services which donated surplus food to the student union food bank additionally there was also meal care meal care is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to decrease food waste and fight food insecurity in canada they team up with various campus cafeterias and restaurants in order to donate surplus food to surrounding communities Meal care was started by two undergrad students from McGill who saw the issue of uh, surplus food and wanted to change uh, to have an impact on their community. Currently, they operate in 12 different cities across Canada and have over 100 active volunteers. Meal care, meal care's impact. Currently, they have donated over 97,000 meals across different partner universities in order to serve food insecure communities. The meal care chapter at University of Toronto was established by two undergrad students who noticed the surplus food in the institution's dining facilities. In their free th first three months, they were able to divert 3,500 pounds of food the, uh, to the community partners they, in order to reduce food waste. To address the potential food waste management issue at York, we believe that opening a meal care chapter on campus would be an amazing opportunity to work towards a more sustainable campus while fighting food insecurity in our community. York Federation of Students has an initiative put in place in order to fight food insecurity called the Food Support Center, which aims to have food and basic needs available to York University students. They operate four times a week for limited hours. So we believe by creating a partnership with the group, with a project such as meal care, it would increase the reach to students facing food insecurity. So why is this initiative important? Um, a partnership between a uh, meal care chapter, the York Federation of Students and York's University's Food Services could address food insecurity and promote sustainable food management practices. It would also address not only one, but two SDGs, responsible consumption and production and zero hunger. Um, also, food rescue and donation is a preferred type of intervention, as mentioned previously, um, and this is very important because 
One in five Tehranians lived in food insecure households in 2021, and a 2022 survey revealed that food insecurity is considered a challenge among some New York University students. And finally, $49.5 billion worth of food is wasted annually in Canada. Some limitations we faced during this project is the lack of data regarding any surplus food being disposed at York University's dining facility. As previously mentioned, quant quantifying food waste was challenging as it required a lengthy data collection process. Therefore, we do not truly know if food waste issue is, is a problem on this campus. Additionally, time constraints due to the timeline of the project made it hard for us to look any further. Additionally, it was unclear to us who would need to go within New York University in order to start and implement something like the meal care chapter. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, please let us know.